Hello, my friends. Good afternoon or good evening, depending on where you are in the United States and or in the world. Maybe it's morning where you are, or maybe you're watching the recorded version. Well, anyway, welcome to another Stephanie's Crafting Corner where we get together every Thursday at this time, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, and we make something. Now, first, what we usually like to do is kind of, I like to give a couple shout outs and check on the chats and see where we're at. Um, sometimes people have questions. Sometimes there's something I need to talk about that I'm, I forgotten so um, we're gonna start with the chats really quick hi Sherry in Ohio hello hi Leanne hello there how are you my love and I just lost my chat <laughs> Kenny's working on it um, so in other news I just discovered that my ink refills fit perfect in the Edna now I know somebody already told me that I know we've already discussed it, but I finally got my ink refills into my Edna, which is kind of important to me because my team said, Stephanie, make sure you have these items for the class because remember, don't forget, you need them. And I could not find one of my refills. So I did find it. I am set now. I thought I used a different color. Instead, I used this one and blah, blah, blah. It's a long story. Anyway beautiful beautiful in my pink edna so i'm very excited about that so i just wanted to give you a heads up on that um of course also my embellishments fit in there as well hi russ hello hello hi sherry in nashville hi meg in northern california hi ivy in hawaii aloha hi cheryl in alabama hi jamie in iowa elizabeth hello um when did the swan class homework come out it is on that page. You're gonna to go to the Swan class and it's gonna say homework. So you're gonna click on that. Um, hi, Shirley. Hello, Janine. Hi, Brenda in Baton Rouge. Um, let's see. Hi, Susan. She says, from Wisconsin, already placed my order. I was just informed that Amy did make the new items live and we're actually gonna go through them tonight, so there's no rush. However, if you were interested in that dad fold it, I highly recommend you get it tonight. I don't know how long it will last in the morning, just a heads up, but no rush right the second. You can sit back and watch this entire show and then you can go order. Cause we're gonna talk, I'm gonna be talking about a lot of things, including things that aren't necessarily new that are newly retired. I got two different notifications today. So let me talk about that in just a second. I have it on my list, but I wanna do a couple more shout outs. Hi, Deb, hello. Hi, Chris. Chris had orders already done. Hi, Brandy, hello, my friend. Hi, Kelly. Um, hi, Reagan. Kelly says, so we need our refills. Um, I actually recommend, we're gonna be using a lot of ink that night, especially the sky and the candy. So if you're in that class, make sure you have your sky and candy refills nearby. You might not need them, but my team always reminds me that Stephanie, your your little your little cubes are always dry. Make sure you have your ink refills nearby. And I said, okay, you know, it's like, okay, mom. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> they take very good care of me because they know that you know the lights are on, but not everyone's home all the time in, inside here. Um, so I need these people on my team to help me. Oh, they just lost me. Oh, there we go. Um, let's see. Hi, Margaret in Ohio. Hi, Joystein, my love. Hi, Pammy. Hi, Terry in Michigan. Um, ooh, Jeannie got her, um, card kit club. Yay. Hi, Gloria, my friend in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Hi, Quilty. Hi, Joanne in Virginia. Oh, Rhoda says she already ordered. <laughs> um, hi, Terry in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And Sh Shandani. Oh, I love that name. Um, in Oak Harbor, Washington. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Nancy in New Jersey. Um, hi, Sherry, coming from Utah. And Gloria says, smile. Um, hi, Terry. Got her a card kit today, too. Yay. Um, ooh, Carol says she's making 14 of the pinwheel cards for her grandson's graduation. She still needs to make seven more cards by tomorrow. You better get busy. You can start, you can keep crafting Carol while we're talking. Um, I got a green line. Hmm. You, you knew that? Oh, okay. Okay. So what? He's shaking his head. I got to yawn. Okay. So now, hi, Janet. Got her a card kit too. Yay. 
Um, Debbie says, will the personalized stamps for club members be available again? Yes, Debbie, they will probably early next week. Um, we just get bombarded with orders and in order to catch up, we actually turn them off for a little while so we can get caught up. Otherwise we would just get buried and people would never get them. <laughs> so yes, make sure you click on the new ones that are only for club members. Uh, make sure you click the notify me. So the second we put more on, boom, you'll get an email. I highly recommend when you get that email, go order. Yes, you have to pay shipping. You can't get it, in, maybe not get it into a $100 um, order, but I think shipping is only $1.50. And it's worth it to get those personalized stamps because those two designs are only available to club members and they're very limited. We have to release them a little bit at a time. Hi, Amanda. And she says, Amanda says, hello, Stephanie, Ken, and all my Stamps of Life family. Hello. Okay. Oh, Cookie, don't be playing with that cord. Um, hi, Gwen. Hi, Sylvie in Carlsbad. Sylvie, did I ever tell you that when I was little, I used to camp at Carlsbad State Beach. Um, my mom had, um, I, we would borrow my grandpa's camper and we would um, stay for the week in Carl at Carlsbad State Beach on the cliffs. So I remember those very fondly. Um, oh, and that's when we had my dog, my first dog I ever had in my life. When we were, I was nine years old, we got a dog. And I will be honest with you, this dog was the best dog I've ever had in my life, but don't tell my dog now. Cookie doesn't want to know. Now, as most of you know, for some random reason, most of the pets in my family have a food name. For example, Cookie, Butter, Lemon, Candy was my old cat. What are, oh, Coco Puff was one of my cats. Um, Cheerio was another cat. Well, when I was nine years old, we had a dog, and do not even laugh. This is the honest truth. I do not know how this happened. My dog's name, <laughs> was Pepsi. I cannot make this stuff up, you guys. How in the world did we name that dog Pepsi when I literally have Diet Coke going through my veins, right? <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? So yes, my dog growing up was Pepsi, best dog in the world, let me just tell you. Gloria wants me to remind everybody to make sure you click thumbs up, share, and subscribe. Yes, Gloria, thank you, my love. Ooh, Cel Celia's in Guam. Hello, my love. Uh, Sylvia says, Sil Sylvie says, love that Carlsbad memory. Yes. Um, uh, excuse me. Uh, Ramona says, I love Legoland. We used to have passes. Oh, wow. You know what? I have a feeling I'm going to be going to Legoland pretty soon. Miller it has really been getting into those Duplo blocks. And let me tell you, he is having fun with those. So just saying, I'm going to be going there pretty soon. I can tell. Um, hi, Don in New Jersey. Okay. So I have a lot, I have a list of things to talk about. Um, I already talked to you about my Edna ink refills. Uh, notes, okay. Kenny was going through some old paperwork the other day and he brought home this little packet and it is actually a thank you card. And some of the photos, I don't know if they were in there or not, but he came brought home, he came home with the photos too. So I'll, I'll show those in just a minute. Um, he brought home this thank you card and I, I, I'm going to get teary eyed, but it is from Kenny's grandma. Now, um, what year did she pass Kenny? Do you remember? I, I'm horrible with numbers. I don't know. No, I don't recall. We, okay. But this letter from grandma was written in 2003. And can you do three, third camera just so I can show? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna read it to you. But but I just want you to see how special it was for me to have all of her beautiful handwriting, and literally we will be keeping this forever. But it says, "Dear Stephanie, Ken and Kirsten, Ken, Kirsten and Katie." Um, she and then at the bottom, thank you for our Thanksgiving dinner, which was delicious. We've been so blessed by you, your love and caring for us. May God keep you safe and all in good health. Thanks again for all you do for us. Love and prayers, Grandma and Grandpa Bernard. Now, this is just as special to me probably as it is Kenny. First of all, because I'm a girl. But second of all, because I lost my grandmother, my only grandparent I really had, um, when I was 14. 
And Ken's grandparents came into my life when I was 16, and they really filled that void. In fact, my grandma lived in Montana, so I only saw her maybe once a year at maximum. So Grandma Bernard, literally, I would see almost on a weekly or you know at least a couple times a month. And so she became really, honestly, if, if you told me to think of my grandma, I would think of Grandma Bernard, because that's just who I think of. So this is extra, extra special. So my, job for you today is I want you to make a card and I want you to write in it. Look how much Grandma Bernard wrote in this one. I want you to write in it to your heart's content. Tell someone how much you love them, how much you're thankful for them, whatever you want. Just make it nice <laughs> and make sure at the back or on the, on the back, ideally with your personalized stamp, put the year. Because can you imagine in 19 years, somebody pulling it out and reading it? 19 years old this card is. And I'm telling you, seeing grandma's handwriting, it just, it's the most amazing thing. So that is your job for tonight, okay? Tonight or tomorrow, you can do it tomorrow if you want to. But tell somebody how much you love them and really write it out. I have horrible handwriting, horrible, the worst. But you know what? The card that I mailed today, I wrote in it and I wrote in it and I wrote in it. Let me tell you, I did because of this card. So that's your job for today. And that was from, from Fun Grandma. Now. Oh, on a lighter side. Yes. Melody says happy birthday to your dad. Millie. Melody. 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 <laughs> Melody. Melody. <laughs> Saying happy birthday to my dad. Let me just tell you, on my Instagram, you guys, hang on, I gotta go back story. On my Instagram, I posted, let's do three. I posted this adorable picture of my dad. Now, this is who my dad is, right? My dad literally sent me this picture of himself and he says, I think he said party boy on it or something. I don't know, or we're, I'm at a work party or something. And he was so cute, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna post it. Now, the problem is I put on there, isn't my dad just the cutest? 82 years young, love you, dad. Well, unfortunately, that made it sound like it was his birthday. And it's not. His birthday is in September. So I'm sorry. So thank you, Melody, for the birthday wishes. Thank you to everyone that posted happy birthday to my dad. Very, very kind of you. However, hold those thoughts until September 29th. I just had this cute picture of my dad and I thought it was adorable and my dad's adorable and I just wanted to post it. So, um, but thank you all so much. I really appreciated how nice you were. Um, and um, yeah, it's not my dad's birthday. I blew it. And I go, Kenny, people think it's my dad's birthday. And I read in the caption, he's all, yeah, you make it sound like it's your dad's birthday. And I'm like, oh, oh, oh I always, blow. I, you know, just, okay, whatever. Okay, um, that, that, oh, I wanted to show a couple pictures that Kenny found also because, well, some of them are, oh, okay. So, so let's do three really quick. I'm gonna go really quick on these, you guys, just because, um, but, Here's a cute one of Kenny. I don't know why the top's torn, but Kenny and Kirsten at uh, a Hawaiian luau that she had. I think, it was, was it a dance, Kenny, or a party? I think it was a dad, father-daughter dance or something like that. Father-daughter dance, isn't that cute? Somebody isn't that so cute? shred that up. What? Somebody tried to shred I it know, up. I <laughs> know, I don't understand. Now, this is totally random. This is at my college graduation. Um, Kirsten was, what was she like about four or five? Four or, or five. Like I think she was about four and a half or five. Katie had already been born, and I graduated from college. That's my mom. That's my mom's house. My mom and dad have this um, vaulted wall right there, and my mom literally back then. Do you remember this, Kenny? She had wallpaper in there she didn't like, so she literally sponge painted the entire vaulted ceiling I think I do wall. I remember that. Yeah. You do remember that? Isn't that awesome? Okay. And last but not least, because. I just, these are one of my, some of my favorite pictures of my children. Uh, these are my daughters with, you know who, Santa. And look oh, how oh. cute, look how cute they are. They have their cheerleading curls on that day. And then this picture is probably my favorite picture ever of my daughter, Katie. Um, because I just, oh my gosh, I just, I, I seriously. Katie's picture actually when she was a baby was on the cover of a book. 
for Memory Makers Magazine. Um, I wonder if we still have that somewhere. Probably not. <laughs> but um, yeah, so um, hopefully Katie doesn't see this because Katie doesn't need to know I'm showing pictures of her. Okay, so let's see. Karen says I wrote in my mo daughter's Mother's Day card. Good for you. Thank you, Karen. Pamela says Kenny looks like a teenager in that picture. He almost was. Um, so if Kirsten would have been, how old were you when KG was born? 25. So, oh, okay, he was old. He was like, well, not old, <laughs> especially not now. Um, he was probably about low 30s, I think, uh, in the picture. Yeah, I think so. Um, let's see. Uh, my daughter, your daughters are so beautiful. Thank you, my love. Thank you. That's so sweet. Um, oh, wow. Becky says, going through my mom's things when she passed last year, I found letters from her mom who passed in January of this year. She was 99. Isn't that awesome? See, I, it's really important that, that we keep these things and, and that we write them and things like that. Um, Gwen says, I was the one, I was one of the, those that wished him happy birthday. Well, Gwen, you're an angel. Thank you for saying happy birthday. Um, Russ Newhouse says, it's a Hallmark Santa. No kidding. <laughs> I, I remember he would come to our neighborhood every year and I remember saying he is the best looking Santa that's because right he wouldn't he pull up in his car around the corner and like sneak down the street or something like that yes because the um the reindeer sometimes Santa uses off. cars yes sometimes <laughs> well because sometimes the reindeer need a break <laughs> yeah um let's see Loretta says Ken doesn't look any older now than back then oh Loretta don't say things like that <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> he does look pretty good still, though. I Yeah, I'll keep him. Um, let's see. Uh, okay. In our... We're going to get to a card pretty soon. Don't worry, you guys. In our retiring soon section, I got two emails today about retiring products from two different companies. One, Foundations Decor is retiring quite a few items that we stock and they're like almost gone. So what we have in the retiring soon section is all we have left. Also, the purple and the hot pink, not the light pink, not our pink, the purple and the hot pink crafting, crafting carry workstations are discontinued, retired, done. In fact, I placed an order for the hot pink and the purple. Purple, they do not have any in stock. They are not reordering. They have zero. I literally think I have nine in stock. Just a heads up. I don't know how many exactly. But we're getting a couple more of the hot pink in and then once they're gone, they're gone forever. So if you had your eye on a purple Craft and Carry or a hot pink, they're in the retiring soon section. Also, a lot of the foundations decor items that were for the home sign. Oh, that were for this home sign. Not the home sign. The home sign, luckily, is not on clearing, uh, not on uh, retiring. But some of the things that go for the O are retiring. So go check those out. I know it's a football helmet, baseball, basketball, some other things. So go check that out. Um, did the MIDI run out? The MIDI, we on it. Okay, so here's the deal with the MIDI. We haven't had that yet. It's on the website, I know. So the MIDI, where is it? I, I, it's on the other side of that. The MIDI is coming soon. We got it on the website, so the second Utah gets it, it can be on the website. Um, it, we're not doing a release for it or anything special like that. As soon as we get it in stock, they'll just put it on the website. So make sure you click the notify me. The MIDI is at a really good price. And of course you get the club discount. So just click, if you want the MIDI, and I'm not even gonna show it right now just cause um, we don't even have it, but eventually we're going to. But good question, my love. Um, let's see. Um, Sherry says, Stephanie, did you curl your daughter's hair in those photos? Sherry, let me tell you, no, I did not. We had these special curls, curlers we had to use because they were um, competitive cheerleaders. And we had these special curlers. And the night before a cheer competition, we would hire their, well, we would have their babysitter come over. And their babysitter happened to be an older cheerleader that obviously knew how to do the curls. And so part of her job for the night, we got off so cheap with Allie Kenny. We owe her something still. Um, she would come babysit and curl their hair. So the cheer competitions, they would be ready with curls. It was pretty amazing. She was an angel. Allie's an angel. Um, let's see. Okay, so we got the Crafters Companion items retiring. 
foundations decor items retiring last item on my list unless kenny has something is yesterday the babies came over they come over for a couple a little while on um on wednesdays and liam's new thing now is to say oh man and let me just tell you the kid knows what it means because anytime something happens where you would go Ugh, like that he goes oh man and let me just tell you, Kenny, is it the funniest thing ever or what? Yep, very it's the, funny. It's the timing. He has the perfect <laughs> timing on it. It's not like he walks around the house saying, oh man. No, oh, he uses it in the right context and it is the most hilarious thing in the world. So just have to tell you that. Okay, anything else, Kenny, before I move on? No, I think we're ready to look at some stuff, right? New items. Okay, I so. I think that's what everybody's waiting for. I know, I, I just blah, 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 blah. Okay, so. We released some new items tonight. One of the ones is my absolute, positively favorite slimline folded right now. It is our seagull folded. And let me just tell you, he is adorable. He fits in a standard business size envelope and he is absolutely positively adorable. Yes, fits in a standard machine, standard six inch machine. He fits in a standard six inch machine. Okay, that's one thing we released. Okay, the uh, well, another thing we released is, and I'm gonna do this one last because that's what we're gonna do today. You wanna do two? Yep. Is the dad, where am I? There we go. Is the dad fold it. So the dad fold it, totally awesome. Open it up right there. It does have the stitch marks. I'm going to show you the stitch marks because people always have concern about the stitch marks. So we're going to talk about the stitch marks in just a second. But there's the dad. Now we have more. And there's another one using the stamps for guys. You got to love that fish, right? So cool that dad is. And then here's another one with the stamps for guys fish on there as well. And the cute little icons in the back. And then here's a cute one with the panda um, pudgy I'm wild about you, dad. Isn't that cute? Okay, so a lot of times we get questions about, oh, let's do three. We get questions about the stitching. So the stitching is optional. So let's say, let's grab this out. Let's do a D, because D is probably the easiest. Let's, okay, well, now it's gonna start. Okay, there, oh, come on, okay. So here are, here's the letter D-A-D. -D. This is the shadow. And here is the stitch, right? Now, if I wanted a stitched die, I'm gonna run it through like this. So I'm gonna run it through. I wish I could do this in my little mini, but I don't have my mini. So hang on, I gotta find a piece of cardstock. Let's do, well, we can't do, let's do blue. Oh, that's not gonna fit. Uh, let's do uh, this one. Okay, so I'm just gonna run this through really quick. I'm gonna run it through just like this so that stitching is in there, okay? So, oh, actually I'm gonna run it through two, two different ways because there's two different ways to do this. So, I want it to sit, oh gosh, that paper's not gonna fit. Give me a second. See what happens sometimes when you're trying to use cardstock scraps and, okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so let me turn it this way so you can really see it. Let's do, uh, yeah. So here's dad. Now, if you wanted the stitching in there, you would put the stitching die in there. Let's say you did not want the stitching in there, then you would run it through like this, okay? But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one of each. I'm gonna do one without, one with. Does that make sense? Does that make sense, you guys? Okay, so let's run this through, and I'll show you what I mean in just a second. So I'm gonna run this through, la la la. I would probably tape it in real life because then my stitch lines would be more centered. But now we're gonna bring it over here and I'm gonna show you this. Let's do three. So I'm gonna show you this. Here I have my cute little dad because this is the one I did with the stitching, right? This works on all the ones that have stitching, you guys, okay? Now, you're looking at this one going, uh, <laughs> Stephanie, this is not a D. Um, where is the cutout? Well, my friends, the cutout is on the stitching die. The center of the D is in the stitching die, right? So what you're gonna do is you are going to get another piece of paper, or let's say you're gonna put this on a white piece of paper, and you are going to die cut only 
this piece over here, watch this you guys, watch this. I'm only doing the stitching die and I'm gonna run this through the machine really fast and easy, okay? Now we're gonna see what this is doing. So we're gonna lay that down and we're gonna run this through. This is only the stitching die. Now it's gonna look, ooh, crooked. It's gonna be really, really weird because look at this. Three, this is what it looks like. Like that, right? Because the stitching's on the outside. I wanted this piece. That's all I needed. That's trash. Okay, so now when I, now I don't want to confuse you, so we're just going to get rid of that. So now when I want to do my dad, I am going to do this. I am going to get my D, A, now this one has stitching, D, right? I'm going to put this on my card. I'm going to die cut the stitching for the inside of the A and look at this. I'm going to glue that right there. Okay, so you can do it this way, where it's one with stitching, or you can do it this way, no stitching, and you're just gonna glue this on top. Okay, so that's how you're gonna do it when it has stitching. Okay, we're moving on. So that is just a little quick tip on that because I know we get a lot of questions um, and failing tries to, it's hard to explain it with words because trust me, you know, where it's just hard to explain with words. Okay, so now we're gonna look at, and I'm keeping my scraps, of course, right? Because eventually I might need those. And now we're going to look at, keep this scrap. Now we're going to look at the thank you. Here is the thank you, and it is a folded. It folds to A2 in size. And there it is, right? Now, see how it goes thank and then you is smaller? Here's another example. Thank you, right? And then here's another example. So it can go directly on a card. Now it almost looks blown out. Is it blown out to them, Kenny? No, that camera's a little bit brighter. Okay, because remember how it used to be darker? Yeah, now that's the above camera that does that more. This one oh, okay. in the front, yeah. Okay, so looks about right. thank you can be put on an A2 size card. Elizabeth says, are the panels available that were with other company, the Fancy Hearts and Spiros? Um, those are actually, Elizabeth, on our release schedule. So they have not been re-released yet, but they are on our release schedule, yes. Um, when do you want to a thank you card new? Yes, brand new tonight. In fact, it is on flash sale right this second as I speak. So here we go. It's on an A2 size card. I'm going to show you. So this is a, what, what, option number one, option number two. These are both the same. Option number two. I'm going to show you option number three. Option number three. What? Now, I'm not talking about, oh, make it into a shaker. No, no, no. I'm already, I've already shown you that. I'm going to show you something different. Different. Okay. Are we ready? I need to take a drink, so I don't know what you want to do. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to grab some colors. Let's grab, you know what? We don't use purple enough. I love purple. We're going to use purple, and I'm going to get out my A2 size card base. Now, hopefully you have an A2 size card base. It can be the Dragonfly A2. It can be the uh, Vine A2. It can be, these are, these are the same card bases, they just have different insides. I feel like we have one or two more. But it can be any one of the A2s, okay? I don't put mine away. I, oh, sorry. I don't put mine away. I literally keep it out at all times, okay? So that's why it's not in there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply easy peasy, easy. Oh, and you know what? A lot of times Phelan gets the email, you know, oh, my, my die is bent. Um, what am I, what, you know, uh, what am I gonna do? Do I have to buy a new one? See how it's bent? See, look, look, bent, bent. I'm gonna show us from camera three. Three? Oh, I don't know. Will it show <laughs> on camera we'll three? See. Look, oh, there. See how it's Ooh, bent? Wow, wow. Oh, it's the end of the world. We my get a lot friend. of that stuff back from Utah. My friend, yeah. Things that it's, don't look, survive. look. It's fine. It's totally it? fine. Oh. Totally fine. Now, 
Are there, you gonna show us? What? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna us? use it right now. Cool. <laughs> um, mm. Yeah, of course I'm gonna use it. I have a tendency to play with dyes while I'm talking and I bend them all the time, you guys. So I assure you, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's absolutely fine. I'm saying 99.9 .9 because of course there's gonna be the rare time or something happens to it, but chances are it's completely fine. I'm gonna run it through. What's that in the corner? Oh, the, oh, that's, I thought I thought it was another camera. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is crooked still. I really tried, okay. Um, I, I was wondering what that was. I thought it was a camera view. Okay, so here we go. Here's my, here's my score line. Look how gorgeous that score line is. We'll bring it over here. Why do I need this die? Because you know what, my friends, once you score, fold it on that score line, it is the perfect, dun, 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 a two size card base, a two size card base. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna put this back and I don't put it away away. I put it literally on the little knobs that are over so here. So that was that crazy all bent up die. Yes. And it did that, right? Yes. Awesome. Yeah. And you guys, a lot of times, like if you go back to some of my videos, you'll see me going like this and playing with them like this. Mm, because like I, I, I know, I literally, oh yeah, I go like this a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um, in all my years, I think, and I, keep in mind, I've been using wafer thin dyes for a long time. I might have had one break, maybe. If any, it would have been maybe one, maybe. I've seen once in a while people break them because they- How put, do they do that? Um, they put them through their machines with too many cutting pads. Oh. <laughs> it happens. We I don't think I mistakes. broke one. Yeah, I don't think I broke one, but I think I've done stuff like that before. Well, I'm sure you've, or, or like if you accidentally double them up on each other, that's mm -hmm. not good and run it through and machine. And like the dies on the bottom. <laughs> the dice has been on the top. Oh, the yeah, that's an issue. There's all kinds of good stuff yeah. like that. Okay, so here's my thank you. And normally, um, most of you already know, you would take the shadow of the largest die in the kit, put that on the fold, and die cut it through, and you would get your cute little thank you, like this, right? Shaped. Well, we're gonna do something a little bit different. I have my card base. I'm gonna take that shadow die and three, let's do three. I'm going to get some washi tape and those babies have been stealing my washi tape. Cause when I have to use the ladies room, we come to um, this office and they go crazy. Okay, so here's my washi. Like Don't Nana's recommend using your secret, favorite washi. What? Secret hideout or something it is. back here. <laughs> it is. Now what I'm gonna do is I am going to take this die and normally I would fold my cardstock, a big piece of cardstock, and run it through just like this, right? Well, on this one, I am gonna take it and I'm gonna open my card base and I'm gonna move it down pretty much as far as I can without going over that score line. So I'm sorry, without, let me show you. Hang on. So the score line is in the cut, in the die. The score line is on this side of the die, okay? And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna run this through. I haven't done this technique in a long time. I hope I remember how to do it. Wouldn't that be funny if I messed it up? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> See, I think more things are funny than Kenny does. Yes. <laughs> that is true, huh, baby? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're gonna bring it over here and I'm not gonna take it apart until you see. Oh, look at all the trash on my floor. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna remove this, remove this. And look what we have, my friends. We're gonna peel this up. Oh, it cut. See, I did do it wrong. I knew I was gonna do it wrong. Oh. I knew I was gonna do it wrong. Hang on. Why did it why did it manage to cut all the way? Hang on. Okay, you need on a the kiss fold. Cut. I've mm. done this before. I've done this technique. I should have tested it. See, Kenny's gonna go, why didn't you test it before you went live on the air? The why magic of just flying by the seat of your pants or something, right? That is, is you true, <laughs> that is true. I wish Dina was watching because she would explain yes. to me what I did wrong. See, a professional, um, we would come in, we'd pre-cut all this ahead of time and we would have it all ready to go for you, but you're on yes. your own here, Steph. Okay, I figured it out, I figured it out. Okay, I did it a little wrong. Okay, so we're gonna do it again and I have to find purple again because it'll drive What did you do wrong, just so we know? Oh, I put it on the fold wrong. Oh. I mean, I'm not, it's not true. I put it on the fold right, but I ran it entirely through the die cut machine and you're not supposed to run it entirely through the die cut machine. So just in the effort of time, I have a yellow card base, rounded corners, but it'll be the same thing. Don't worry, 
fold it on the score line. We're gonna cut, we're not gonna, cause that'll save us a couple minutes. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna tape it the same way. Gosh, Stephanie. Tape it the same way with the fold on the inside, okay? Now, watch this. We're gonna bring it over to the machine and this is really important for them to see. We're gonna bring it over to the machine. I love that I messed this up because it's funny. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we only wanna run it through the machine to like right here. We don't wanna go past this line, this die line, right? Is it a little crooked? I don't think so. How so, are we gonna know? Right, I know, because technically you could go like this and run it through and, and pray, but you know what, you don't need to pray about this because what you're gonna do instead. Don't hit the speed bump. Don't, well, I know, is to oh. make sure I catch myself because in all honesty, I'll forget that I'm supposed yeah. to stop there when I'm running it yes. through the machine. I'm putting my cutting pad on this and I'm literally stopping right here. That's what Julie said. She said, don't cover the whole thing with your Amen, sister! She's got it right. Yes, okay. <laughs> now I'm running this through. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, is this gonna work? <laughs> no. Yeah, shut up. Oh, no. I was like, oh wait, it's gonna cut all the way through. And I'm like, no, the cutting pad's not there. Oh my gosh, I need a cheap. nap. Okay, ready? This is starting to turn into a blooper show. I know, yeah. right? Okay, but remember, my cutting pad, did they see? My cutting Oops. pad literally ended right there. So there's die blade down here, but it wasn't under this cutting pad. So now what we're gonna do, my friends, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift this up. Oh gosh, I feel so much better now. Now look what we're gonna do, is now I have my card backing with my two, can we do two? Mm -hmm. With my thank you cut out only on the front. What do I mean? Well, here you guys, here's the other option, is having the U, so the entire card is shaped like thank you, right? Or you could do it like this. Now we're gonna continue to, go, to move on because I want you to see the final product. We are going to get a piece of, Maybe you should do a contest now, Stephanie. Oh, good idea. Maybe uh, they can help select some okay. thing that you're gonna do next. Or okay, here like I that. no no, I have a okay. I have a I have a good question. Three, three winners? Three winners, ten dollars each. So everybody has to enter to win. Yes. If you're new here, please enter. If you're new here, please subscribe. Yes. Click that yes. little button please. on the right that says subscribe. We're okay. glad you're here. Anne says you can't make this stuff up. I yeah. know, isn't that the <laughs> truth? Okay. So here is my question. Because I just made a crafting whoops whoops when you're crafting let's say you sit down for an average of let's just say two hours in two hours time how many crafting and i say crafting mistakes because really is it the end of the world absolutely not right it's just now this goes in my scrap pile big deal it's actually learning. i'm going to use this piece for something else so it's just a little whoops Learn, learning from your mistakes yes how many crafting mistakes where you added a little extra embellishment or you have to do something special do you usually make in two hours time of crafting? Good question, huh? How many do you think you make in two hours time? <sighs> because you know, we're all just doing this just to do it, right? I mean, so what I'm doing is I'm grabbing the card die base, it's this Man. one. And they, I'm gonna grab the layering die and I'm gonna run this through right here on this purple really quick. And they have to be honest, right? Oh, full. I mean, guesstimate. <laughs> I don't expect them to try to count. But yes, try to guess, guesstimate. Okay, so I'm gonna run this through really quick. So this is gonna be a layering die. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you guys, I make a lot. Um, honestly, half the time it's because I'm trying to go too fast. And then I go, whoops, like just like earlier, I was like, oh, when I did the cut it out of the purple, I'm like not thinking kind of thing. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna add it to, let's do three so they can see. I am going to, oh, I like, I see this one we should like keep on more than anything, right? Don't you think? Okay, so now I'm going to take this that I just die cut and I'm gonna layer it right there, okay? So I am going to grab some adhesive and I wanna show you how this thank you really, 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 really does look different. So what are some of the numbers you're seeing, Kenny, so far? 99. 99, I love you. How I'm many? Teasing now. Uh, I see a two, a five, uh -huh. one to two, three. Let's see that top number. Mm. 
Well, KR says one, two, three. So does that mean 123? Uh, it might mean 123. <laughs> I get it. Patricia I understand you. Patricia says two to three. Gloria says three. Mm -hmm. Michelle says two. Darlene says one. Darlene, Pam you're amazing. Pam says four. Sandy says four to six. Now we're talking. Yeah. We're getting up to that. It's in my area. <laughs> 46 is in your no, area? No, 4 that you, to 6. No, four I thought you six. said 46 is your yeah, area. Yeah, well, it could be closer to 46 than 4 to 6, yes, for okay. me. Yes, that's okay. true. Okay, just saying. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm grabbing some plaid from which pad? I have no idea, but we're going to lay that down. I am going to tape it. Why? Because there's a plaid on there, and I don't want the plaid to be really funky dunky, right? So I'm just going to lay this down, and I'm going to tape it, and I'm going to run that through. Easy peasy. Okay, what are some other numbers? I like to hear them. I like two, to know I'm not one, alone. Two. Brenda, Brenda just says lots. Lots. Sherry says one. Deidre says too many. Ross, how many for you? Did, <laughs> what did Russ say? I want to know what Russ says. Deidre was too many to count. Too many to count. Yeah. Amen, my friend. Doris, two to three. Two to three. Pat says maybe one or two. She's doing good. Pat, you're awesome. <laughs> Come on, Russ. Wait for uh, Russ. Pam says, I Russ. really don't make mistakes because I always think it through first. Oh, you're a genius. Wow. Are you a math person? <laughs> Maybe she's a math person, too. Good for her. Come on, Russ. I haven't seen his yet. I want to know how many. Because I think Russ is more of a, 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 a math guy kind of thing. So come on, Russ. He just doesn't want and to And Nancy, get. if Nancy's on here, Nancy's a, a, a math <laughs> girl, too. So, um, he Come on, Russ. I'm still waiting for you. I'm, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to sit here until you answer me, he's Russ. He's not willing to admit it. <laughs> what did Gloria say? Gloria said three. Russ said two, one to two. Wow. Okay. See, he's my math guy. Um, and then where's Nancy? Nancy's also my um, math girl. I haven't seen. Is is Nancy on tonight? I haven't seen Nancy. Is Nancy Quinn? No, no. I no. It's she a different. Lot. Nancy Quinn says lots. Okay, lots. lots. I get it. I get it. Okay, so here I'm. I'm still working on this. I'm going to now die cut. Oh, darn it. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. I'm going to die cut this. And to keep my life a little faster, I am going to pull out my... Oh, look. Okay, that's not supposed to be in there. I keep that in there just so I know where it is. Um, these are my adhesive back scraps. And oh, my God. Well, I don't have enough of that one. Oh, gosh. Let's pink glitter. Uh, what colors? I have yellow and purple so far. Well, huh. let's do... We got to do hot pink because hello... So, ooh, we can use that one with adhesive on the back. And then let's do you in a different, let's do you in light pink. Okay. Okay, Kenny, are you going to pick some winners while I die cut this, babe? So I I'm just gonna do, yes, I have winners. Lay that down, and then I'm going to lay this down just like that. And I'm going to run this through. Okay. No, 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 no. Whoops. Get over there. Come on. Okay. Oh, go right there. Hopefully that works. I sometimes like to overlap them a little. Okay, so we're gonna. Hey, run. are you ready for our winners? Yeah. Oh well, yeah, but you gotta like. Okay, go ahead. Our winners. Uh, first is from YouTube, and it is Cheryl Jones, and mm -hmm. she said one to two. Okay, Cheryl. And then we have Nancy Quinn from YouTube, and she said lots. Mm-hmm. And then we have Karen Ann Reese from Facebook and she said more than enough. More than enough. <laughs> That's awesome. My friends, you three, and say their names again really quick, baby. Cheryl Jones from YouTube. Cheryl Jones. Nancy Quinn from Nancy YouTube. Quinn. Karen Ann Reese from Facebook. Karen Ann Reese, you three just won $10 gift certificates from the Stamps of Life. You are going to email Faylene at info at the stamps of life .com, and you are going to get a gift certificate code from Faylene probably tomorrow. Not tonight, but probably tomorrow. So, okay, so what am I doing now? I literally remember I die cut these out of my adhesive scraps and I'm just peeling these off and I'm adding these. Are you on split screen? Yes. Good. Okay, so I like to, you know, I'm trying really hard. Thank you to my Tiffany friend. I'm trying really, really hard to keep my things organized. So I try to put things back. The craft station helps me because I keep everything in there and then I don't lose it as quickly. Okay, so there's my you and then I'm going to do my thank. So, and of course, you know, I have the adhesive on the back. Peel it off and adhere it. Now we get to decide. Dun, dun, whoops, that one's off a little. Now, if I would have used my Kiss Cut pad, my life would be a little better, but oh well, I forgot. 
And here's my H. Can you go to talk while I do this? Uh, there's, I think, a question. What container do you have your adhesive scraps in? Where do you keep those? Oh, my friend, my mm -hmm. friend, my friend. This is a brand new item. Um, they're called pop-up cubes. They are coming to our website in about five weeks. This is a sneak peek coming out soon. Ter oh, Terry already answered this for me. But it is fantastic because it's going to come with these pockets. Six, these are like the six by six pockets. And I have all of my adhesive scraps, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, I mean purple, pink, black, brown, gray, silver, gold, white patterns. And then, because it's a two pack, oh, that was an ink pad. Ooh, I hate when ink pads fall. Then in the back one that I have, I have my adhesive foam little pieces, right? The little pieces, adhesive foam big pieces. Then I have my acetate sheets. Then I have my glitter paper, all my six by six. Then I have my pearl paper. Then I have my foil or mirror paper. Then I have my adhesive sheets and my tall adhesive sheets. Whoa! All organized. And why am I showing you the sneak peek so early? Because I needed to use them for myself. So I said, you know what? You guys are gonna see the sneak peek early. Um, Tiffany had these made just for us. They're exclusive to us um, in our pink, um, exclusive to us, and you were gonna love them. Um, so just saying, thank you for asking them. Okay, so I'm gonna work on this. Any other questions while I'm Well, going? I see a couple of people asking about a poll question tonight. We did not do a poll question tonight, so we'll save it for next week because we have you know, so much going on tonight. Yeah, um, just so you know, I will fire um, or deduct from his paycheck for that reason. So, Kenny, I'm We deducting. need everybody to send us in some good poll questions. Yeah, and, <laughs> and some possible answers. Yes, because a you question guys, and answers would be help us out so much. Sometimes our brains are fried. It's like you have that bucket for your questions. Yes, I, I know, need a I, poll question bucket. Yes. So that do. would be great. Okay, so here I'm doing Did you my, tell the winners how to collect yes, their Yes, email okay, info at the stamps of life. Yes, I did. I forgot to tell okay. that. Okay, so there I got my thank you. And I'm looking at this and I'm going, it says thank. Now, it really says thank you, but in all honesty, come on. In my old age eyes, I cannot see the word you. And that really bothers me. That is me. too light. I, I know, it's horrible, isn't it? So what Do you we're have any glittery stuff, like sparkly glitter paper or anything like that? Yes, that's what Kenny, I'm talking about. sometimes you, you and scare I... Me. <laughs> is that what you're gonna say? No, so, no, well... I know a little bit too much. You do know a lot, <laughs> which is good, because you can probably answer half the questions out there. Mm. Um, 25%. 25%? Okay. So, we, you know what? I'm going to check. I don't know if this is even dark enough. I don't know. We're going to look. If not, remember, I can just put it in the envelope or the, the, oh yeah, look at that, you guys. Perfect. Now, I'm going to do something tricky, tricky, because there's no way in the world I'm taking off that you right there. I'm going to put this, and I'll hold it up so you can see, add an, a little tiny bit off the edge. So now look at that. Now look at, well, hang on, let me do all of them so you can see. So it's kind of like the lighter, the lighter pink is like a little shadow, a little outline kind of just on one side because, you know, see, technically I could count this as a mistake, but now it's gonna look even better than before. So, and again, I grabbed my adhesive back scraps, so I'm just go. I'm zooming through this extra fast. There are four new items tonight, right, Stephanie, on the website? Someone was asking. I don't know. Let me check. I don't know. I believe that's correct. Okay, so now, here yes. we go. Yes, number one, the seagull fold it. Number two, the dad fold it. Three, the thank you fold it. And then the fourth one is the basket weave background die. A1. 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 Make sure you yes. realize that. A1. That's the A1. So that's going to fit the mini cards? Is yes, that, right? that they're getting in the card kit. Okay. Okay, so putting my scrap, my adhesive back scrap in with my, what's that say? Whoops, hang on. Get down there. What's that say? Pink. Okay. So dropping that in there. And now, so I have my thank you. Look at how, okay, so now, do you guys see what I was talking about on option three? So let's stay on three camera. And I'm going to show you, uh, that one, well, okay.
So here is option, I think I said one, where it's cut completely all the way around. Here is option two, where it's literally just on the front of a card, right? And here's option three, where you run it through halfway with your cutting pad. Remember, I, I, I die cut it literally like this, so I didn't go over all the way. And now I added a background, and now I have it so it's just the top, right? It's just the top. Whereas this one is just a regular card, and this one is the entire cutout, so I don't, I don't have the background. So if I wanted to write a good message, I would want to do it this way or this way, so I'd have more way to, more to write. What, Kenny? Nope, I was just because oh, you have a bunch of great options. Yes. Right. Um, and I'm going to find a thank you stamp. I thought I had a whole bunch. Um, seriously. Uh, okay, so here is, a, this is friend phrases for HSN. And I am, this one's already out. And I am going to grab a block and I'm gonna use two different ones on here. So I'm gonna do, first I'm gonna do, uh, where's thank you, oh here it is. It's a little thank you. And then I'm going to do, whoops, face down. Then I'm going to add, I'm so blessed to call you my friend. And so it's face down so you can read what it says, right? And we can line it up and line that baby up just like that, just like that. Now, you can do it this way and have it say thank you, I'm so blessed to call you my friend. Or, this already says thank you, so let's take off the thank you and only use I'm so blessed to call you my friend right because I already said thank you and I'm just gonna grab my licorice and we're gonna ink this up and I have my secret weapon below me because remember I glued it down to the table and I'm gonna stamp pressing always on the back of the stamp lifting that up there you go I'm so blessed to call you my friend cute now what do we do on the back we always add our personalized stamp um Ooh, here's a perfect one. It says, thank you so much, you are so thoughtful. Now, I do have a die for this, it's in the postage, the more for postage or something like that. But what we're gonna do is we're just going to stamp it on the back. So we're gonna lift this up. Now it does come with an icon. This is the one that you're gonna go click the notify me if you want it, because eventually it'll be back in stock for club members. We're gonna stamp it. And we are going to stamp the back. So it's always nice to say an extra. Now, oh, here's a trick. Okay, so you could say, thank you so much, you were so thoughtful, and then maybe put a little icon. Remember the other icons we sold? You can put one of those, stamp one of those in there. But I'm gonna do something a little different. Watch this, you guys. I am going to get a scratch piece of paper, and I am only, oh, I wanna ink it again just to make sure I got it. I am going to just do the top part of the circle. Look at that, look at that! Thank you so much. Isn't that cool? Now, it could have said, you are so thoughtful, but I didn't want it to. I just wanted to say thank you so much. Then, I can put on there, uh, I can sign it, I can put the year, where's my pink pen? My pink pen is on my, let's grab just a, uh, here. Uh, uh, we haven't even added embellishments yet. Uh oh. Really quick. How much time do I have, baby? Plenty of time. Okay. So here I'm just going to grab this and I'm just going to sign it, my initials, and I'm going to put 2022. Remember? Because we want to put that on there. So now I have the makings of my card. Now, to finish it off even more, people are going to ask this is the Terry bag, I believe. Could be wrong. Okay. Um, so we're gonna add some embellishments. Now, the first thing I think of when I see this card is I go, oh my gosh, this is naked over here. It just looks so inappropriate because it's just so much purple there. So, I'm going to open up my bigger embellishments and I, oh, oh, those yellow felt flowers. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, those are beautiful. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, or I have these yellow felt flowers. See, because I seriously hoard these things, you guys. Um, Because some of those are really old. Let's see. But then I have to think, does this person deserve all my flowers? Um, oh, look at this. Okay, let's do this. So we're going to grab, and just for, um, to make it faster, I'm going to use this. So we're going to add, oh, uh, hang on. Okay, almost done. Grab two of these. Let's see, maybe. So, um, well, I'd rather use the real glue. I, this is like my favorite liquid glue to use for felt. Not necessarily good for when you're going live because it takes a couple minutes to dry, but, oh well. Okay, so we're gonna add a yellow there and a pink here. Overlap it just a little to make it fun. And then we're going to add a yellow up here. So we're gonna get that and we're gonna add a yellow right there, up here. Remember, we always wanna do three numbers. You wanna do odd numbers. And let's put the lid on this because it always I always make it leak. And there we go, my friends, look at that. So here we go. Thank you. Right, we're gonna open it up. I'm so blessed to call you my friend. See, and I like that the flowers stay there, right? Because it's on the background. So flowers flowers and then on the back i have my special personalized stamp thank you so much that's only half the circle stamp and then i put the year dun, 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 dun. there we go that is it my friends um let me see what we got here so this is a good time if everybody wants to <clears throat> excuse me start posting maybe some questions yeah. that have been overlooked um we just can't keep on on all of them. So if you have a question, go ahead and pop it in there now and we'll try our best to answer them all, right? Yeah, I just saw three go by, but you were talking, so I couldn't interrupt you. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, Carlon says, I keep the 2022 stamp from the snow globe out on a small block so I can use it on every card. Carlon, you're a genius. Genius. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, one, I just, one had your name on it on YouTube and I didn't see it. Um, um, hi, Debbie. Got here late. Oh, celebrating your birthday today. Happy birthday, Debbie. Happy birthday. Gloria says, awesome card, Stephanie. Great job and idea. Way to go. Thank you, my love. Thank you. Um, let's see. Card is great. Thank you. How many flash sale items are there? I'll take a look at them all. We can go through Yeah, them. really quick. Okay, let me switch over to... <clears throat> okay, so Kenny's going to switch over. Whoops. No. Oh, they missed. Um, Jay, oh, Jaylene wants you to do a um, a card again. Okay, yes. Pretty soon he will. Someday. Okay. <laughs> I'm in semi-retirement right now. <laughs> so here's the thank you that Stephanie was just working on. That's item number one, right? And there's some nice ideas on there. And let's see, I can find the other items. Oh, there was a question. The um, basket weave die, Stephanie is a one a one so that fits the kit clubs um die uh the mini card okay so that's the a1 basket weave background die that one's pretty limited so if you like that one that's the one you want to get quick and what else you just did the the dad we did the dad where is dad come on all of these four items are on flash sale just a heads up on that the website is getting a little slow oh okay so so Let's put Stephanie on picture okay. in picture here. There you are, yeah. Stephanie. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, okay. So there, you just show it like that. Okay. Okay. So there's the seagull that is, oh, okay. Um, this is, oh, there's the seagull. How much do you gold club members pay? I can't see that far. 1759. Wow. That's a slim line to you guys. <laughs> and then. Um, a lot of you have been waiting for that one. So. I know. I've been waiting for that one. And I showed a sneak peek of that one on accident a long time ago. Father's Day is coming up. Father's Day. So. And there's our dad. And no, it is not my dad's birthday. <laughs> I'm sorry. I messed up. Can there's you scroll dad. that up yep. just a little? There we go. Mm -hmm. Look at that. So um, gold members pay only how much? Fifteen nineteen. That's awesome. Are you giving this stuff away, Stephanie? Yes. Don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of our favorite scenes. Um, we have a couple favorite scenes. Diane says, "Where is the whiteboard? I want to make. I want it to make a comeback." Diane, me too. It's retired. One time, I'm, the one time I'm just retired. Gonna, no, it's not. One time I'm just going to bring it out and start doing math on it because, as we all know, it is not a good idea for Stephanie to do math 
and for Stephanie to do math live on video, live on camera. Kenny, grab my calculator so I can show people my new calculator, please. So the other day on Amazon, um, every time I need a calculator, I have to grab my phone. Then you have to turn it on, you have to find the calculator app, and then you have to use it, and it's such a hassle. Well, on Amazon, I bought a five pack of these calculators for 20 bucks. And let me just tell you, I was in a conference call the other day with Crafter's Companion, and I needed to do some math, and I said, look at my new calculator! I was showing it in a conference call, video call, because I'm so happy about my calculator. In fact, I'm so happy about it, I'm showing you. Now, why does Stephanie need a calculator? Because she can't do math. And sometimes, I was just doing, I had to do some weird numbers. I had to do blah, 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 and, and so I have my calculator. Now, it came with five, because for like $2 more, you've got four extra. So, Kenny has one, I have two and the babies each got one and we always give them calculators and we say do your work and they like to press the numbers so that's what that's exciting so this is how Stephanie does her math um Jaylene says I'm a cashier cashiers don't do math <laughs> um Shirley says I need to get um scoot so I can get ready for work I understand my love we're almost done anyway Jeannie says seagull is adorable Quilty says love the seagull and the crab Crab is coming, I think, next. Whoa. Wait, is the crab already out? Crab's out, yes. Crab's out. Okay, see? You guys, Excuse I me. do the videos a month in advance, so I designed the products probably eight months ago, so it's like, ooh, imagine living in here. Scary. Melinda wants to know, would you consider a happy Mother's Day, Father's Day? I think, um, do we have a die Heart. that says those? Um, well, it's too many words to make a uh, well, fold it, right? No, well, I mean, I had a mom, I have a mom fold it. There's a mom just like that? I have a mom fold it, but HSN, I pitched it to HSN and I thought they were going to pick it up and they didn't. Mm. So it has to wait till next year to come out and see the world. I see. But the cool thing is, is a mom upside down is, you guessed it, wow. Because Whoa. God made it that way. Because, <laughs> let me tell you, us moms have got a big job ahead of us. What? Were you going to say something? No, oh, okay. I thought it was whoa. No, it's wow, <laughs> Cooper. Um, oh, hey, Jennifer got her crab today, yay! Good. Bonnie says, will you demo the pop-up fold it from the card kit? Bonnie, actually the plan is to do that hopefully next Thursday. We we're gonna do it today and then we realized tonight was a release night, so I showed you this instead. Um, but you're just gonna make sure when you make your card, you're gonna make sure that you add adhesive on top of the flaps fold them in, and then you're gonna adhere it to the inside of your card. Do one side first, and then close your card, and then it will already have adhesive on it, and then you're gonna open it up, and it'll pop out. But I will do one next week. Um, let's Julie see. Julie wants to know if you have a 30 second card coming up. Do you know, Stephanie? I don't know. End of this month? End of this month, yes. 30 second card. <laughs> um, let's see, I saw a question. Karen said, Stephanie, how do we know what items were the most recently retired items? Good question, Karen. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go, Kenny, can you do this on your iPad thing? What do you need? Um, actually, why don't you let me do it? Because I can, I know so where you'll know where to go, okay. Yeah. Give me one second. So, so for some for random reason, Kenny has a new feature he did not even tell me about. And you know, that's really offensive. <laughs> but I just saw him doing this, so I'm gonna make him sh let me do this. So you so, want the website? Yep. So he got this new thing, and... You have to rotate it to okay. get it together. With so that. go ahead and do it on the screen. Okay. So here we go. So, okay. So if you wanna know what the retired is, what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll, scroll, can you see it? Oh, if I move this, they can't see. Okay, scroll, and it's gonna say retired while supplies last over here in the corner on the left, right? Oh, they can't see my finger. So I'm gonna click on that. See how it lit up in pink? I clicked on that, and then it's gonna show all the retired items. Whoa, how many are there right now? 327. Mm. Now, if you wanna see the new items that are retired, you are gonna click position, and see how all those options come up? You're gonna click the newest. Give it a second. And now it's gonna show you the newest items that are retiring soon. The purple crafting carry. These are the newest items I put on the retired list. So the purple crafting carry, only eight left. The cactus, 
Only seven left. The football helmet, gone. You guys bought them already tonight. Um, soccer ball, only nine left. Basketball, only four left. Baseball, only four left. You can use these guys with or without the Foundations Decor home sign. Also, the birthday hat is also. Now, why is the hot pink one not listed here? I do not know. The hot mm -hmm. pink one should also be listed here. So it's the hot pink, the purple, and then these foundation decor, oh, foundations decor items. So just heads up, gold price for this cactus is only $6.39. So, you know, only seven left. Just, so just a heads up. I like to give you guys a heads up because I figure, okay, go ahead and one. I figure the people that watch these videos are like the, you know, the, the cream of the crop, right? Yeah, that's true. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rename you guys all though and say you're lifers. Get it? Stamps of life. You're lifers, right? So, um... Can you explain what the MIDI machine is, Stephanie? That was a question. Yes. Can you get it for me? It's on that side. Oh, and, and you can get the mini too. Remember, the mini machine is always on my desk. I try to keep it right here because then I can reach it when I'm on my desk and I can reach it when I'm here. So that's the mini and the MIDI I think is right down here or no. Or it's in the closet in that box. Oh yeah. So get the mini first since you're there, please. Please. And then tell Randy thanks. She gave us a nice poll question. Oh, good. For next week? Has, yep. Good. If anybody else has poll questions, they can like email them to yes. Kayleen or something. Would okay. That work? Yeah. If you have a good did poll you, question, did you, you see, hear me because my mic's Oh, on. did you see Melody on? Is Melody on tonight? Yes. Melody. She was the one that said happy birthday to your dad. Oh, I thought you said Melanie. No. Oh, okay. Melody, Melody. my love. I do not know why. Okay, so look like in the middle where all that baby stuff is in the middle of the closet. Go, no, 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 to the right, 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 to the middle. And look to up on that table on the right. Right there, there should be a, bo a, a machine, under all that a box. Stuff. Yeah, it's under all that stuff. Well, you're the one that said I should show it. So he's got to rearrange. Okay, um, Melody. For some strange reason, you gave my husband a gift card to Olive Garden. Well, we finally got to use it. The other day we, on Sunday after church, Kenny and Stephanie went to lunch at Olive Garden. So thank you very much. That was very kind of you and totally unnecessary. But Tell everybody we if you hear a loud crash, I'm okay. Okay, Kenny says if you hear a loud crash, he is okay. Carol says I've been calling us lifers forever. Awesome, I love it. You're doing time. I love it. Uh, who's doing time? Oh, because it's a lifer? Oh, I get it. He's almost got the box out. Look at this. See, I'm, I, I fiddle. I, I'm, I'm one of those people they made those little fiddle things for because I can't stop it. Hoarding. What? Your closet looks like you're a hoarder. No, it does not. It is totally organized. I knew exactly where this was. Did I, did I not? Did I not? Okay, so somebody asked about the mid D. Okay, I'm gonna always say mid D. M I D I. Because somebody, not me, named this the mini <laughs> and named this the mid D with a D. Okay, so here we go. This is the difference. Now, I use my mini every single day, mostly on my desk because I'm always testing stamps and dies. But this is, and I gotta get my ruler out because I have no idea. This is a three inch opening. This one is a like uh, uh, almost six and a half. So they're going to say six, six inch opening, six and a quarter, really. Now they both have suction cups. It is very handy dandy um, if you need a, a manual machine. Uh, I use it a lot. Um, actually, the reason why we're carrying it is because I want to use it more on video. Um, the Gemini is awesome, the big Gemini, the, you know, the electric one, but it's, it's louder and when you're on video, it takes up, it makes it loud. So the reason why I like this MIDI and mini is it comes with these little folders. I'm just, and, we're, and this is not even available on our website yet, but you can click the notify me when they do come in stock. They come in these folders. You put your die and your paper in here and you roll it through. Well, guess what, my friends? The mid D, sorry, but it's true. The mid D is the same way. You just have this, you put it in there. It looks like an embossing folder with no embossing. You just lay it in there and run it through. 
No, this only die cuts, only die cuts. Now, because you know the Spellbinders has this, and then this platform, and then this cutting pad. Not horrible, because these two can stay in there all the time, but a different way to do it is the mid-D. So it's coming soon on our website. Again, play, click the notify me. Um, Jeffrey, thank you. He jumped in and said you can also use the mini folder in the mid-D. This is getting confusing. The names. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Anyway, they're both great machines. Um, SARS company has done a really, really good job on um, product development. And uh, these machines are really great machines. So this will be available soon. Club members, yes, you get your club discount. So that is it. Will this work with a card base? Good question, my love. I don't know who asked that just now. Um, uh, and Wendy did. What stamp set did you use tonight too? Don't forget that one. Oh, uh, which stamp set did I use tonight? It was an HSN one. Pam says she loves her midi. She keeps it at the table in her living room. Wow. Wow. She's a crafter. Her whole living room must be a craft room maybe. <laughs> I love that. Remember when ours used to? Jane says she loves the midi. I can't find that stamp set. I already threw it in the drawer again. Um, Janet says she has the HSN midi one. and the midi. Ooh. Search HSN. What? Jan says she has the MIDI and the MIDI. Okay, so let me see if let, we're going to, Wendy, we're testing that right now, my love. Okay, so here is a card base, A2 card base. Of course, it'll do like the 3x3 three because three, that's smaller, but this is kind of a larger one. So what you're going to do is you're going to have a piece of card stock, and let's get... Deanna, if you just join the Die Hard Club, you will get this month's stamps and dies. So you'll be getting the May collection sent to you. And yes. then I saw a question about freebies for May. There were no freebies for the card kit in May, but coming up in June, yes, there will <gasps> oh, be Oh, I really, something we've never done before, freebie. And for the Die Hard Club and for the Stamp Club, there'll be something too. Yes, but those aren't something we've yes. never done before. Yes. The card kit is an item we have never done before as a freebie or in general at all in the kit. Okay, so let's do three real quick. When is the MIDI coming on our website? We have no idea. We don't know. Okay. Um, sooner than later, click the notify me. It's sooner than later. Um, we just have to get the, I think we just have to get the logistics down on it. I don't know what we're waiting for. Okay, so here we go. I got to make sure my paper is the right width, right? So I'm just going to trim that down. So now I have the right width for my card die. I'm going to lay this card die down. And it is going to be like really, really, really close. I'm going to push this all the way in there. So let's see if this is going to work, my love. We're doing this for Wendy. Wendy had a good question. We're going to lay this in there and we're going to run this through. And we're going to see if it's going to get those edges. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Couple little, oh, sorry. Couple little speed bumps, right? But it is what it's it is. It's a squeaker too. It is a squeaker. Whoa! Someone else and said there squeaks. <laughs> no, it didn't get it all the way. Hang on, let's see if we can. Well, it moved. That's my problem. Uh, okay, hang on, let's try it one more time. That? One more try. One more try. Oh, it tape? broke the thing. Don't do this. <laughs> you just broke it. <laughs> That's awesome. Look at that. It's still usable. It's not a big deal. I'm still going to use it, and I'm going to use it every time I use my MIDI so you guys don't freak out. Okay, so we're going to try it again. Can you use washi tape to help everything hold well, in place? Well, I don't, or you don't know need because it? it's really like um, we no. should ask them to make um, different sizes. I think, But actually, I think this is going to help my situation because now it's not going to get in that very, very far crease, and I think I'm going to be better off. So I will use a little piece of washi, Kenny's idea. I will use a little bit of piece of washi. Now, Deanna wants to know when will a stamp and die checklist be updated? Do they get updated? She update, uh, Amy updates it usually once a month. Once a month, okay. So okay. I'm gonna do this a little bit at an angle, but I gotta keep it on the platform this time. So I'm gonna lay this down. We really gotta make sure we're all nice and lined up. Now let's run this through. Trying again. Oh, I don't know you guys. Wendy, this might be iffy. Nice and squeaky. We need some WD-40. Oh, it's not good. Well, no, it's not going to. It's not going to get this second piece, this last one. 
I didn't get this left. Oh, wait. Not did it? At the end? No, there it's just the cutting, it's it the ish. There's plenty of pressure. It's these aren't long enough. Oh. So no. I'm gonna say no. So you would need like not that they make them, but you would like need an extended version. Right. right. That's why I'm that's why I just got through saying they need to make longer ones. But yeah, I think then it would work. So I will I will I'm gonna actually mention that to them. I think that's a good product idea. So do not do what I did, but it still works. It's still gonna be fine. My life is not over. And these are gonna go into the scrap pile. Okay, I think we need to I saw out. there were some questions about retired items. So what's the best thing to do is just go on to the main page and on the left column, there's a little section that says retired, right? So right. just click on that and then it'll show you all the items that are either retired or almost retired. Is that right, Stephanie? And well, they're retiring. Retiring. So, so if they're in yeah. stock, they're in the retiring section. If you have any questions about those, go to the retired section and you'll see those items there on that list. And if something is in the retired section and it says sold out more on the way, that could be true, that might not be true. But if it offers you to click the notify me, click it because Kenny is still cleaning out our warehouse in Laguna Hills. And as he finds new things, like for example, luckily he found more ticket dies. And I was like, oh good, because I thought we were completely out. We're almost. So yeah. yeah, so we have anything that is out of stock on the retire list, but you still really want or anything like that, click the notify me. Also, um, things on the, you, on the retired list you can put on your wish list. And then next time you need an order over $100, get free shipping, boom, throw one of those items on there. But once they're gone, officially gone, they're gone forever. So like if you wanted something and you search it on our website and it's not on our website at all, I mean, it's gone. Okay, we do have to start retiring products. So um, it's, it's smart business practices to do that. And we had never done that in 12 years. So we started what, in, into last year. Where can um, everyone find those checklists, Stephanie? They're under the extras tab. Extras, um, so yes, go into the extras tab at the top of the website. Um, let's see, I saw, hang on. Um, on, can you search HSN? Can you, yes, can you search HSN to look for that stamp set really quick, babe? For? No, 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 search our website for HS, search our website for the, for the stamp set I use, HSN. It's just called HSN? Well, no. But I need to know Are the there name any of other it, questions? so that's why. Yeah. So it's that one right there. It should be that first one, I think. Every day? Does it, does it say, does it say the words I used? He doesn't remember what I I don't said. remember, yeah, I have a lot of I'm stuff so blessed to call here. you my friend? No. Okay, so then go back. And it's gonna be a four by six, more and more and more, more. What's that one on the right, far it's right? birthday. Nope, okay, go more. Crap, is it not on the website? It's not messages from <gasps> friends, is it? Somebody had. Oh, now I gotta find it. <laughs> I hate when Sorry. I do this, you guys. Oh wait, is this it? It is friend phrases for HSN. Huh. Search that. I think that's coming up. Friend phrases for HSN? Let's check. Okay. He's gonna look on our release schedule. The Sorry, secret release schedule. May 25th. May 25th, it's coming, coming out. Soon. Sneak peek. She didn't Sneak even know peek. it. Um, Diane says all my Gemini plates are broken and they work even better. Easy to flip flop them to keep them, they keep their flat shape. See? So good. I started a new trend. Okay. <laughs> okay. You guys, Bonnie says you two are such a great couple. You always make me laugh. Bonnie, I make myself laugh, but um, sometimes Kenny makes me laugh. Or. <laughs> what? Or. Or cry, <laughs> <laughs> or scream. Yeah, or, one of was, those three. It was funny, really quick before, oh, we gotta go, we gotta go. But really quick, it was 4.53, we're supposed to go live in seven minutes. I, I'm i still at my computer working, blah, blah, blah. And I go, Kenny, does it ever give you anxiety that I'm like not right there, ready to go with mic'd and everything? And he goes, yeah. And I go, oh, well, why don't you ever say anything now? because he's been married to me for 30 plus years, he knows not to say anything to me about like, hey, chop, chop, get in your spot, because he knows Stephanie would flip her lid. Either so, I might not be on the next episode of Stephanie's Crafting Corner or Stephanie might not be. One or 
one of the two, right? <laughs> no, it would be you right here because I would like walk out. <laughs> no, or, he, he knows me too well. He knows not to say anything. So he just quietly sits there and prays. I say, to just pray. I pray she gets there in time. <laughs> okay, my friends, thank you. We have so much fun on Thursdays and it's all because of you. And we love to see your comments. We love to see everything that you have to say. Um, um, Oh, Raggedy Ann says, thank you. At least now I know I'm not crazy. You know what, sweetheart? It's me that's crazy, not you. Don't worry. Oh, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my friends, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. We have so much fun with these days, and it just means the world to us that you would spend an hour plus with us on Thursday evenings. And so thank you. Thank you for your love, your support, and your prayers. They really do mean the world to Ken and Stephanie and the entire family, um, Katie and Kirsten and Colin and Liam and Miller. Um, when you buy something from us, you are literally buying from a small company in Southern California with three and a half employees. And um, when you buy small, you're actually making a difference in, every, in the, that family's life. So we just want to say thank you we really appreciate that um monday no makeup monday roughly 10 a.m in the morning live same places here anything else kenny no i think we covered everything okay everything Get to the website the four items flash, flash sale tonight sale. dad just a heads up dad might not last through the night okay because i didn't get as many of those um and then everybody's like oh i want that one so i was like uh oh i don't know if i ordered enough so just a heads up that's the one where the least amounts on just a heads up on that one but thank you all so much and uh stay safe stay happy stay healthy and we will see i will see you monday for a no makeup monday okay take care bye bye